Hi everybody, Wendy from Cinnamon Sweet Shop. Today I'm going to be making banana split cookie shot. And what you'll need is a silicone cookie shot mold. Or you can use this with ice or anything, but it's made by Wilton. I bought it a while ago, never used it, so I'm finally going to get a chance to use this. Vanilla extract, whole wheat pastry flour. For this recipe, I am using a stevia blend, but you can use some organic sugar as well. I'm going to be using a pinch of salt. I like my vegan buttery sticks, but you can use an unsalted butter, an egg, and baking powder. Cream together the butter or vegan buttery sticks and your sweetener. Once it's smooth and creamy, then add in your vanilla extract and your egg. I combined my baking powder, salt, and flour and just add all that in at once. We're going to mix this just until it's combined. I divided my dough up into eight pieces and I did measure it out on a scale. So if you want to be precise, you can measure them out on a scale. And then from here, you want to mold them, because it is a moldable consistency, into each shot area. Now this will take a little bit of time and you want to make sure your hands are clean. And I'm pushing the cookie dough all the way down till it reaches bottom because you want to make sure you get these sides real well. And then I'm also keeping a finger around here to try and make sure it's even. And then you can just pat some on the top. This will form the bottom of your shot glass. Now as this bakes, it's gonna soften up a bit. I'm just checking quickly to make sure all the sides look pretty much coated. And I wanna bake this for 20 minutes at a 350 degree oven. When they're baked, you want to let them cool inside the mold upside down for about an hour because you want them to be pretty much 100% cool because hot cookies still could be a little soft and they may break coming out. My tops aren't perfect, but that's okay. I melted some dark chocolate. You could do it in the microwave. You could do it over um, a hot, what they call bain marie. doesn't matter. With each cookie, I'm just going to pour some in here. Not going to fill them up because all we want to do is really just coat the sides a bit with the chocolate. All right. I'm also drizzling this around the sides a bit. You can give it that little messy drip down look, or you can smooth it out and make it look a little neater. set for about 30 minutes. So now I have over here my set cookie pop shot cups, some of the leftover melted chocolate, banana slices, I made some whipped cream, and then vanilla ice cream. Now I'm using Skinny Cow brand. It's a little bit better for you, lower fat. You can use any brand you would like. And you can use a scoop or a spoon. I'm probably going to be using both just to scoop out the ice cream and to fill it in the cups. So this is where the spoon comes in handy to smush it down in there without getting it all over the place. So in this case, you probably may be better off using a spoon. And this ice cream just came out of the freezer, so it's a little bit hard as well. But I'm going to push it all the way in there without breaking the cookie. And I'm filling it just to the top. Okay. Then add some banana slices. Just going to add two to this one. With the whipped cream, put a nice little star tip on it. And then take some of that melted chocolate. I remelted it, of course, and just drizzle some of it on the top just to make it look a little fancy. And 
and there you have this. Store this in the freezer until you're ready to use, of course. Don't these look great? The recipe is at my website, cinnamonsweetshop.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for much more coming up, and I'll see you all next time.